Hello and welcome to my channel. Hello, welcome, come on in. I'm Tarot Love, we're gonna do some tarot. This is gonna be nice. So kick back and relax if you are a Cancer. Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising. Maybe your Venus is in Cancer and or maybe you're even a cross watcher, somebody dealing with a Cancer. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Calling on Spirit for Cancer as the Collective. Someone who will need a message. So glad that you're here. Thank you for coming in. If you're already a, a subscriber to my channel, thank you for your support. If you are new, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful time right now, today, whatever day it is when you get this message. Let's do recent past, your current energies, and then take a look what's coming in in the future. Trying to understand other people looking into the heart of other people you know that saying the eyes are the window to the soul i think the soul lives within their heart so i want to try to help you and i do see in the current past we've got somebody what they seek it's all about what they are looking for in their love relationships So I think they play games. And the reason that they played games, maybe even hurtful things, they may say things, they may make, this is like somebody hurting someone's feelings. You trying to figure it out or something like that. It's And it's definitely, it's like, they get bored really easy. It's almost childish at times because they get bored with the mechanical interactions between partners. So let's so see, they prefer to drum up drama in their relationships with you guys. Yes, they do. Cancer, they don't like the mundane and the superficial, so they're always looking for something and this is even somebody who, when they, um, current energy is, if they, if they pick on you, if they're picking on you in a negative way, or they have in the past, that's actually, doesn't mean that they don't like you. It's how they show their love. They're more stern with the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles side by side with the Four of Cups. They sit on their emotions when they're young. So, like, if this person that you're with, if you guys are young and they're younger, they're more mean. But the good news is, is that they will soften, be willing to share more in the physical world as they age. Being willing to let go more of what they really think. And I think if they're older, it's easier for you to see that. You know, that they give you the security that you need. They're just kind of like uh, messed up in the head is what it comes off as. But it's, it's interesting because they have a lot of fear. It's why they mess with people. And that's definitely them and not you, Cancer. As we move into October, the end of October 2023, I'm here for you. We see the Three of Wands in reverse. No longer waiting. Someone is ready to move forward. And they're going to need to take action really fast. Somebody not being able to move forward with their plan is going to cause a, a delay, an obstacle. But don't worry, I'm going to clarify. We'll find out what that is. I think this person's just really vulnerable about love and stuff and emotions. Because like when they're young, they don't like to, you know, they just act more childish. Even as an adult. But as they age, they do mature and soften. Not all of them. Whoever this is that you're dealing with. In the recent past... 
that eight of wands, and then in the future we see the two of wands coming in. We have the eight, eight, and the two. That's infinity. The, the things come full circle. This person is not scared with the eight, eight. I feel a Scorpio vibe in there. Um, so with Halloween coming up, they're not scared of anything. And so they do look for more. They're looking for more out of their connections. So good news in that, if you didn't know, is those casual encounters, they're not into that. Not all of these folks are into that. No, they want more out of their relationships. They want so much more that they have to push your buttons. And they don't do it out of spite or out of anything negative. They actually do it to keep themselves occupied, to entertain themselves. And so as they seek, let's clarify that Page of Cups, that Nine of Swords. Because they do have their own fear of being betrayed. It's really what Spirit is saying might be at the heart of this matter with the King of Swords. So let's get to it. Somewhat jealous and possessive nature and love. You see what I'm saying? So when they give their self over to love wholeheartedly, they, expect, they become... Um, this is all consuming. They're always in your business, if that resonates. Yeah. Non-romantic. Very serious when it comes to the physical world and their money and, 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 and how they take care of you. You take care of them financially in the home. In the physical world, physicality could mean... Um, physical affection and again with the nine of wands they're a master in the bedroom they're really good at what they do i'm sure you find that to be true it's hard for this person in the recent past to act normal around you we have that in reverse we have that in reverse taurus Virgo, Virgo in communication. So we'll see a lot of power tripping. But I just care about where cancer is in all of this, really. So this current energy with the Four of Pentacles, we're going to clarify... King of Swords and the King of Pentacles is a warning side by side. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles very close in a reading. I want to know where Cancer is in all of this currently, who this is to you. And... So I think is, uh, let's clarify that, Spirit, please. I think for you guys, this can point to a rather strong marriage or partnership. May not be easy to live with due to someone's moodiness, current energy, right? This person is hard to live with. They've got to be due to their moodiness, but... Oh, in reverse, in reverse. So, and then we have this current energy of somebody that could be very ill. There's going to be some of you, this person is ill. Yes, this makes someone ill. This is like the sun going down on me. This person is very moody and hard to live with right now. Current energy. This person is being mean. So for those of you, the ones who this person is, well, they've got their whole being, their whole life. Been waiting their whole life. 
getting a little fucking return. This is what's going on there in that aspect. In the center of the reading, we have this. Cancer is like, this person is just really hard to fucking live with because they're constantly digging on you. Right? They be digging. They be lighting up little fires inside of you and keeping this it's this personal, the reasons they, they, they're, if they're older, they're telling you more that if you guys are young, let me know down below in the comment box. Comments are always welcome on my table and in my, uh, on my channel. Absolutely. Yeah. So we have, we have this, we have a little bit of every type of person on the table and this person is all over the place. Very moody. See him being very stubborn, obstinate, strong-willed, and not easily intimidated. Right? And I just really want to know why. Do, do we know why? Why are they so, well, yeah, man. This is just, this is just their character multiple personalities here and they just spend more time resisting the inevitable they're going to spend more time doing that they're they're just innovative about it it's innovating looking and searching for new ways to put somebody down and this is speaking now that we see the knight of swords in reverse they are young. They are a young person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We see Leo. We see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Shrewd. This person. Maybe they are aging. And now the sun in reverse. They are coming to the end of their existence. And they're getting more rotten. Because you say, Tara, love, they're not getting nicer. This is an older person I'm dealing with. Let me know their age. Let me know who it is down below. Maybe we can do some more readings about that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Very seriousness about this individual. So it's like, even when they're joking around, it's... They hit below the belt, don't they? I think they're they really hit below the belt on you. And they just ooze. This person here coming in in the future just oozes ill will. Generally, so somebody could be coming in, somebody new you've already dealt with. These are different people that you're dealing with. There's a lot of people around you. This is, they're generally very image conscious people. The clothes that they wear, you know what I mean? The manner, all that shit is a really big deal to them. And this is going to be somebody for you guys that you're going to have around you in October. They want to appear successful. They want to generally succeed. They do. They're not fake. I think that's part of their personality. This is, this is the person that's forced upon us by family conditioning. This is them. This is the way they grew up. The reason that they are the way that they are. Or y'all trying to train them to be a family man to be a family person to soften and lighten the fuck up like be nice is what I hear somebody say and that's you to them so let's see what's coming in the future three of wands two of wands and the eight of wands no that's the eight of cups the eight of cups the person that's difficult to live with. It can be difficult to accept 
some things and how people feel. Well, what's going to happen coming in is your reaction, their reaction. This is going to be somebody we are not willing to accept this crap. We need to understand the power that we have to mold this because that's what I think that most of you are here to do. I think you want to. Um, this person's very scary, even though they are not scared of anything. This could be a scary situation because they've been waiting around the corner to scare you. It's simple as that. Halloween, you come home from work, they're around the corner, boom, they scare you. Why do they do that shit? <laughs> Well, you should be used to it by now. If you guys are in the same family, you should be used to it. So get ready for a family member just to simply scare you. And then if you're in a serious, deeper connection where, you know, you're scared that they're out trying to have casual encounters because, you know, they're always stirring things up with you. They're fantastic in the bedroom and whatnot. But you're like, well, wait a minute. No. Believe it or not, not all of them are. They're really just into creating more drama in your guys' relationship. That's really all it is. Um, they do have an independent side, and this is, you know, they're very forceful. This is very forced upon us. This is going to be you having to take action. Don't, spirit saying, don't wait to take action to let somebody know this is scaring you. It's going to be very important, especially if there's a child, or you are a child, or you are younger, where this involves a child. Because somebody here is a real space cadet of the family. Maybe you are a space cadet of the family. I don't know. But we adapt these rules as familiar ones. So the person coming in, this real space cadet, you know them. Uh-huh. But this is, bottom line is, this is this other person's defense mechanism. Right? They treat you this way because really deep down and scared. They're a scared little child deep down inside that's them for you thank you spirit my cancer acquaintances here on youtube would like to know for someone who is seeking this information for us to clarify that three of wands two of wands and the eight of cups as the three of wands was in reverse their children who were considered the responsible ones being responsible for someone's children. We don't want that. Sometimes it was them themselves who looked around and they felt the need to be the structured, dependable, and responsible member of the family. We're telling them, be nice. You need to be an adult. It's what cancer is like. Just chill. And you know, this person, if they come in, they are... Again, this is going to speak the Hierophant of marriage. It's your spouse, somebody really close, and your friends and your family. The holiday season is upon us. For that, we're going to be getting together in groups, going to church, praying together. This is somebody who has matured and grown up now. In the future, they will step up to a higher plane. Are they stuck in the past with the Six of Cups in reverse? Absolutely. Are there some of them here who are, you know, uh, two-timing you, three-timing you? Very possibly. With someone from their past. Absolutely. But not all of them. And that was very key trait as somebody and very important that Spirit said, not all of you. Because I'll tell you why. There's some of them that are going to be a good father, protector. Again, they care about the way this looks. So, they're looking for a way to make this work, to make this look good. To make themselves look good. Sure, you're a feather in their cap, no doubt. This person does become very structured, dependable, and responsible member of the family. So often, these people do, they rise up from where they've come. This is a pretty deep reading. They do rise up. They will rise up. No longer be that multiple personality fucking moody individual. And wouldn't that be nice to see some justice in that for 
Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Maybe your Venus is in Cancer. Very young. This person could be somebody who is still young, and they are surprisingly, amazingly stepping up to the plate. Saving our marriage. Saving something in connections with other people. Learning how to be strong. This is how this other person hides their feelings, though. Let's not forget what others may not see. Under that cool, even, suave exterior, there's always that inner struggle. And that's something that you can do as a loving person. Cancer, to try to understand about this ornery, rotten little shit as somebody that you've been dealing with, right? Yeah. Because you might not see that under that cool exterior. You know, they're cool. They're badass and looking strong, trying to stay strong, taking care of everything. Because because they do strive for success. And they do strive for fairness and balance. And if they did it before, they sure do now. As soon as we see justice. So they're even asking themselves all the time. If you're wondering and trying to get inside of their head and their heart, am I doing enough? They ask themselves all the time, do I have what it takes? Do I even deserve all of these blessings in this family? Do I deserve to be the mom in this family? Am I good enough? Yeah, you're blessed. They are. They've got you, Cancer, as their friend, as their partner. Together, you can lean on me, Three of Cups. This is time in the future where we're going to be able to lean on them. And they're going to be able to lean on us. Lean on you. Lean on me. When you're down and troubled. And I hope that we can manifest that for you guys. Spirit wants you to know that this person does know how to do away with their bad mood swings. Somehow they figure it out. You think, oh, they've changed. rut row. Are they out there getting some, you know, one night stands? No. Not necessarily. Now, do they have the potential to? Yes. But they're not abusing that. They're not abusing your friendship right now. No. They are stuck in the past, too, with you. Still trying to figure out how can they fuck with you enough to get you to be a better person. They got a weird way of going about it. But lots of people do, and that's what they do. It's part of their character. They want the right label. They want they want it to look good. They really do. And so even if you guys have this really different uh, kind of a, of, of, a, of a connection that other people might see as different, it's very actually very white picket fancy here and uh, very normal in your guys' day to day. So, But they really do. They like nice stuff. And they're not going to be showing off. They're going to be quiet. There's going to be a quiet air of success for you guys at the end of October. So thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you again for joining me. I see a, a very possible success story in this. Don't forget, their childhood might have been difficult. Your childhood might have been difficult. This relationship, these people are currently being difficult. As we look into the future, we can see success. And again, even a backwards way of living. They're serious. And they bear a lot of responsibility as they grow up. And they age beautifully, learning how to uh, loosen up. Maybe you do. And they help, they help teach you how to loosen up, right? Somebody's wanting somebody to do that. So with the two of you, loosen up together. And maybe now if we understand them a little bit more, you know, you don't got to tell them that. Just keep that to yourself and just do it. Just live it. Be about it. Okay? All right. Thank you. This is Tarot Love. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.